We are previewing week five in the NFL here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We're talking right now with Brandon Shively from EliteSportsPlays.com. Brandon Shively uh, got off to a great start with us in uh, the NFL videos this year, going 3-0 and in the first three weeks. Last week, though, he did take the Jags, which was a, a sharp play that I know a bunch of other sharps uh, were on. That one lost, though. Brandon Shively, thanks for being back with us this week. Thank you, Peter. All right. You're going to try to get back into the win column with the Detroit Green Bay game now. Right now, Green Bay is a seven-point home favorite. The total is 53.5. That's gotten bet up from 51.5. And no surprise why that would happen. Green Bay is coming off of a bye, and uh, the, the Detroit is coming off of their 40-point effort um, against the Bears. And, uh, you know, I'm looking at this. I'm thinking, you know, I would have loved to have gotten it at 51.5 or 52. But even at 53.5, I think I would take the over. I think that's the way to go here. Both these teams, you know, uh, Green Bay never had a, a good pass defense this year to begin with. And, uh, you know, their run game should be a little bit healthier for this one, so it should open things up. Obviously, Detroit has a big passing game. Reggie Bush had a good game last week. I'm seeing 27 at least from both teams. What do you think, over 53 and a half? Yeah, Peter, this could be a potential shootout game. Like you said, Green Bay, they're coming off a of bye week. Uh, they do have some nice trends coming into this game. They're 8-1 and one against the spread off a of bye week. And they're four and zero against the spread. The last four matchups against Detroit. Also, something to note out is Green Bay has won the last 22 matchups at Lambeau Field versus Detroit. So, given those trends, you know a lot of people are leaning Green Bay this game. Mm -hmm. uh, me personally, I like Detroit. Mm -hmm. They went into FedEx Field in Week Three against the Redskins and beat Washington, and they had lost 21 straight in FedEx Field. So, you know this is a year Detroit. They can make amends for a lot of these bad losing streaks they have you know this is a uh, Stafford he's never beaten Aaron Rodgers but looking back at it he's 6-0 and in the stats the last six matchups just meaning that Detroit has outgained Green Bay the last six times they've played so that tells me right there there's potential for Detroit uh, turnovers have really been the killer for them last year they're minus four in turnovers and this year, it's a little different story. I like the Detroit defense. They're nice and healthy. Uh, they're plus four in the turnover differential so far, while Green Bay is minus two. Another thing to note is uh, about the Detroit defense. They're holding opponents to 21% conversion rate on third down, which is uh, first in the NFL. And their red zone defense has been tremendous this year. Uh, their opponents are only scoring 30, 38% of the time on Detroit when they enter the red zone, while Green Bay uh, is holding opponents to 81% of the time they score on them. So, you know, I expect these percentages to hold, hold somewhat true in this game. Uh, if anything else, I expect Detroit to hold Green Bay to some field goals while Stafford gets some touchdowns. Uh, another thing to note is uh, since 2006, winless division teams have gone 62 percent against the spread the following year just meaning that teams that lost all their division games the previous year the next year they go 62 percent in the blind against the division so uh detroit they're 0 and 6 against the division last year this year they've already got wins against chicago against minnesota and i've seen them putting up a good fight again this afternoon uh, stafford can get the ball down the field in a hurry if he needs to uh, i don't think we'll need it but you can keep the back door open on this one it's detroit plus seven peter Hey, you make a very convincing argument, Brandon Shively. And yeah, I tend to agree with you. Just uh, at first glance, seven points does seem to be a bit too much. Feels like it might be one of those like uh, close shootout games, you know, 34-30, something like that. Thanks so much. Brandon Shively, like in Detroit, plus seven over Green Bay. Thanks, Brandon. We'll talk to you again next week.